Do you want to have pants game like some of your favorite skaters, but you don't want to end up looking like some other clone at the skate park and some of your polar big boys? Well, then I suggest you keep watching this video. So one of my friends recently referred to me as a pants YouTuber because I've made a lot of videos about pants in the past. But I thought to myself, how could that possibly be true? Because I haven't made a video about pants in about eight months. So I had to come back at it with another one. So I was recently blessed with these three pairs of pants from 360. I actually did like an unboxing video like way back in June. It was in like the beginning of my Go Skate Day video. So if you want to go see like the unboxing, go check it out after this video. So of the five pairs of pants that I received, the three that I pretty much skate the most of are these loose fit five pocket denim jeans, these carpenter loose fit denim jeans, and these carpenter corduroy loose fit trousers. Also real quick, quick if you guys are wondering where I'm at today's like the grand opening of a, a new skate park down there so I've been like recently filming videos here so I could go check out the construction and all that so yeah you may be like why is this kid filming at a, at a football field it just so happens to be a big empty like parking lot so that's where I'm at right now so first off I'll give a background on pretty much all of these pants which are from the UK uh, pretty sure based in London. They're also not a massive brand right now. Someone from there hit me up and sent me these pants a few months ago. So I have actually been skating them very consistently all summer. So all these pants got wear. It's not like they're brand new and I'm just pulling them up and and speak in my mind. The first thing I really want to say about all these pants is they're very comfortable. They use very high quality materials, especially like these Carpenter Dark Indigo jeans. I usually don't get pants like these because I think they're pretty uncomfortable, but these are some of the most comfortable jeans that I own. And I really love the fit on them. Another thing I'd say was pretty consistent with all the pairs is they were a little bit longer than I was anticipating. So I all got them in what I would consider to be a fitted size like 32 30 and I think I got one of them in a 34 30 and usually when I get the 30 inch inseam it sits about right at the ankles these ones sort of feel like they're around a 31 to 32 inch inseam so if I were gonna order them I definitely get them about an inch shorter than you normally would and I would say that was true with these dark indigos and also the carpenter jeans but these loose fit pot five pocket denim ones were not like that Granted, they are not supposed to fit as baggy as the other ones. These actually fit very modestly. And I think these ones right here might actually be my favorite of the bunch, mainly because if I was gonna buy one of any of them, I could wear these anywhere and not get like weird looks for wearing extraordinarily baggy pants. I think when you buy skate pants that are really baggy like that, they sort of tend to be only useful at the skate park and anywhere else you go, they're like, you're really throwing a fit. They also got these real high quality embroidery and touches on like all of them. They differ a little bit from like pants to pants. This one's got a little patch as well as this one on the back pocket. It's a real nice stitching too. Look at that little like, I don't know what that's called, the little leather touch, which is real nice because it's, it's long. So when you wear a belt, it actually like shows a little bit of it. The details are real nice on the inside as well. And uh, these ones actually got a little different one where it literally says uh, skateboarding gear and then London, England, which is an awesome touch. Slightly different badge on the back as well that you can put like a belt through, which is sick. So with these, I really like the drawstring. It's kind of like that surf pants type of feel. I normally find myself using the drawstring way more than ever using a belt, mainly because the drawstring is on the inside, so it's hidden. So you can just tie it together, stick it in, and it doesn't really look like you're wearing a belt whereas some other pants have the drawstring on the outside. Sometimes I'm a fan of that and sometimes sometimes not so much. So the inside drawstring is a big plus. They all got that nice little button right there as well. So that's what I'm talking about, just real nice details. Their massive plus with these pants is that they're all priced very modestly, around 50 to 55 euros. From what I understand, it's not that far off from how it'd be in like the American dollar. And especially if you're comparing that to the big name pants like Polar, it's way more doable for sure. I also made a video one time about how I really like to thrift my pants because of the factor that they are unique and because I was just kind of kind of getting over wearing the same pants as everyone else. These pants 
definitely give you that uniqueness factor. Especially in America, I have not seen anyone wearing these and I think that should change for sure. You may be noticing also I'm wearing a different shirt than in the intro. That's because yesterday it was even windier. I was like, let me, let me just hold back on that. Also, yeah, definitely because this is the opening day of the skate park. Got a lot of workers out here. So my plan was like, if any of them come up and ask me what I'm doing, I'm not a skateboarder, I'm a pants YouTuber. <laughs> Can't get in there yet, but that fence is gone. If I would have had that skate park 10 years ago, I would have been so good. Because, <laughs> bro, I, I couldn't go to skate parks until I got my driver's license. And this park is like about a minute from where I live. I'm anticipating an absolute just shit show when it opens. Because uh, I've, I've looked at it and the flow isn't that great. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just, it's going to be, I'm, I think I'm going to make a video of it. It's just going to probably be a lot of scooter kids and some possible collisions. But uh, it should be exciting. I uh, haven't had a new skate park in a while. Almost forgot to remind you guys about the weekly board giveaway. These are all about giving back. So if you need a board right now, fill out the Google form in the description below. We'll be looking at all the entries. So yeah, just follow the rules in the description and make sure you enter yourself.